Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. Today we'll be heading to Annihilation Nation. I recorded this right after the last part, so yeah. We're off at Annihilation Nation. And yes, this is the arena thing from Ratchet and Clank 2, but in one area. Are you ready to play? Alright, let's meet our first contestant. He's an unemployed rocket mechanic who claims to have saved two galaxies, but most people know him as Secret Agent Clang's bumbling chauffeur. He hopes that disguising himself as a tyranoid will make him more attractive to the ladies. Hey, give a warm welcome to Ratchet! Ratchet will attempt to be the first contestant ever to survive the death course. Contestant number one, are you ready? Bring it on. And here we got the obstacle course. By the way, that was James Arnold Taylor voicing the announcer. Oh man, this job is too much fun. Entertainment, folks. His voice is glitched, by the way, so really long. Left class. Hey, be sure to catch me next week at the Florana Demolition Derby. To strafe, hold down L2 or R2 while running. Saw oh, they're a robot. Oh, they're a laser bot. They're not the same laser bot from a Daco. No, these are actually laser robots. One. I don't know why they give you these hints like right now, but yeah. Obviously a reference, but I doubt anybody would get it unless you watch football back then. And here's our second vid comic. I'll be covering it in this part. When we get back to the Phoenix, anyways. Now it's time to get down and dirty. Hey, if you recognize this theme, this is the this is the freeing your ship theme from Going Commando when you're on a ramp. This little sucker can really do some damage. This, this is very much the glad this is the gladiator thing. So yeah. Well, the thing about the Inferno Box, uh, one thing that sucks about the Inferno Box is that you can't use your weapons, meaning if you're playing this on normal road or you game plus, so you don't have weapons to upgrade, you can't upgrade your weapons, so you can't use them. These things are like the blade balls from, uh, they're like the, say, Inferno. There should be an Inferno box somewhere. I'm not picking that up right now. Alright. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No 
Both the South never mess with a trigger happy long box. I don't believe it, folks. He survived the death course. And here to give you your prize, the lovely Miss Courtney Gears. How about that, folks? He is better looking. Do not be alarmed, Sasha. That is Ratchet. Oh, I see you won the terror guys. It's very convincing. Anyway, there's something I think the two of you need to see. Work personal log entry 101301. After I personally vanquished the protopet menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts on protecting the endangered creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting, and my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. So I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions. <sighs> Time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known, Captain Quark! You're not gonna believe this, but the President put Quark in charge of the fight against Nefarious. Our new commander just called his first team meeting. You better get back to the Phoenix right away. I agree. This does not sound good. I forgot they don't translate, uh, they don't translate what, uh, Ratchet says in Terragese, so yeah, Terranese. I'ma trans- uh, when we get to Aquatos, I'ma translate what, uh, Ratchet says. Okay, I'm- before we leave Elijah's listen, I'm gonna show off this thing, cause we have a boss fight coming up. Here we go, folks! Arena combat! Yeah! Here is Gary and Helen. Thank you, thank you. Also, this the music that plays here is the is the rack up dog fight theme from Pokemon in the first game. They reuse a lot of music tracks here. And she's dead. That's the terrible too. You'll be facing them a lot here. And there is one more boss here, but we will not be seeing him till later. I'll probably do all these challenges off screen, but yeah, let's get back to the Phoenix. Come back anytime to compete for cash prizes. And yes, the terror the terror guys is is attached to his belt. So let's head back to the Phoenix. Gentlemen, oh, and Helga, welcome to the Q Force. You have been assembled here because each of you is an expert in your particular field. From Al's mastery of electronics to Skid's nerves of steel hey! to Helga's sensual powers of seduction. Each of you has shown that you are worthy to wear the Q. Years ago, I single-handedly defeated Dr. Nefarious, but like a rash on the galaxy's backside, he has flared up again. Our first mission will be to infiltrate the Doctor's top secret base on planet Aquatos. Impossible, you say? Perhaps for a lesser strategist? Behold, my brilliant plan! First, Ratchet and Clank will descend to the sea floor and wade through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. 
After infiltrating the base, our agents will split up. Clank will enter the base's ventilation system where he will locate and deploy this banana-guided autonomous monkey device. Or, the GAMD. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ratchet will use his extensive knowledge of the Tyranoid language and customs to win the trust of the bloodthirsty alien guards. Finally, our agents will make their way to Nefarious's personal office, steal everything that isn't nailed down, and exfiltrate the base completely undetected. That's crazy! But it just might work. <clears throat> Skid. Sorry, I'm busy. Meteor shower inbound. Redirect power to four deflector screens. Lucas! All right, so, well, actually, right here, if you attack front when you're in this area, it will attack the... Uh, you'll, you'll get a skill point. Also, those are all the characters that we encountered on different planets in Wrath and Blank 1. So, we saw Skid McMartz, uh, Helga, who was Quark's fitness trainer, uh, Big Al, who we encountered earlier and in the first game, who gave points to Helipack, and then there's, uh... And then there is... If anybody finds a Star uh, Master scientific calculator, what, please contact Lost and Found. A Quark, of course, Quark himself, so yeah. And Scrunch, who we encountered in this game, so yeah. Before, before we end off this part, I'm actually gonna go to... We're gonna do a re uh, Quark comic, too. That only happens in Challenge Mode, where you, it says skip this comic. Quark, comic episode two, Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think, they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying no good. <laughs> right, now where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid horde. And here's a Reba amoeba. <laughs> Yep, these are the same Amoeboids from the first game, and we'll be encountering them as enemies later when we, honor, when we get to Kratos. Why are te why do you storm my bots here? I don't know. Alright, now for the fancy stuff. Press X while I'm in the air near a wall to see my awesome wall kick move. Oh, <laughs> so up here you'll find a red token. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I, where, where, I'm trying to figure out where I, all the red tokens are. So yeah. So there's one up here that I forgot where there was one up here. I didn't even know there was one up here. Yeah, be careful, cause if you jump down here, you will fall off. Thank you. 
There is a health upgrade coming up here, I believe. No, it's up there. See the health upgrade there? And there's your health upgrade. Slime balls come down here. There's one down here. Seventy-nine tokens. Let's see. There is one more, if I'm not mistaken. There is eighty. Three up here. And the last five should be on this little thing, which reminds me of Icy Tower. That's all 100, and that's the end of the stage. <laughs> 150,000 volts. Damn. His amoeboid army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me. I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <coughs> what? I held my breath. <laughs> oh my god, the game just froze. Well, I'll end off the part here because uh, the next part will be going to Planet Aquatos. So, see you then.